Hello friends, this video on quadrilaterals part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let us now again look at another category or an another um, type of polygon based on their shapes. They are convex and concave polygons. So let's first understand what are convex polygons. Now convex polygons are those whose interior angles are less than 180 degrees. So when we talk about a convex polygon, here all the interior angles are less than 180 degree. So what is 180 degree? 180 degree is straight angle. So this is 180 degree. So when we say anything less than 180 degree, this could be something like this. This could be something like this. This could be something like this. So these angles are all less than 180 degrees. So let us look at some examples of convex polygon. So if you look at this, this is a triangle. Now what are the interior angles? This is one, this is one, this is one. And all of these are less than 180 degree, of course, because they are even less than 90 degree. So 180 would have been something like this. Had this been this entire angle, so that would have been 180 degree. So here all of them are less than 180 degree. Look at this pentagon. So what are the interior angles? This, this 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 and this now look at any of them they are all less than 180 degrees now give an example of an angle which is more than 180 degree so when you look at this angle for example this angle is an example of an angle which is more than 180 degree right but in this case we are talking only about the interior angles and all interior angles are less than 180 degrees so look at the square. So here all angles are 90 degrees, which is again less than 180. So this is also a convex polygon. So this is what signifies which one is a convex polygon and which one is a concave polygon. So look at all these examples. They are all convex polygon. And I am sure needless to say, you know why they are convex because their angles are all less than 180 degrees. <laughs> So now that we have discussed these examples of convex polygon, let's talk about concave polygons. The word concave already has the term cave in it. So when you look at uh, these concave polygons, the, they would give you this cave-like structure. As you see here, this gives you a cave-like shape, a cave-like shape everywhere. In all the shapes you see, you get to see that cave thing. So in concave polygon, at least one interior angle is greater than 180 degrees. Now, as long as all interior angles are lesser than 180 degrees, they remain convex. But the moment any one angle is greater than 180 degrees, it becomes a concave. So if one or more than one interior angle is greater than 180 degrees, then that type of a polygon is a concave polygon. And the moment one of these angles become greater than 180 degrees, it forms a cave-like structure. Like as you see in the first image. Here you see, look at this angle. This is an interior angle. So this interior angle is more than 180 degrees because 180 degrees could have been somewhat like this till here. So it is more than 180 degrees. Now since it is more than 180 degrees, it is forming this cave-like structure. Similarly, when you look at this angle, this is also more than 180. This is also more than 180. This is also more than 180. But these angles, they are lesser than 180. Let's look at this diagram. So here you see, look at this angle. This is more than 180 degrees. But other than these, all other angles are less than 180. Here you have this angle more than 180. So wherever you have that angle greater than 180, there you see the cave like thing. So here you have just one cave. Here you have one cave. Here you have four caves. Here, here, here and here. That's because you have four angles greater than 180. Similarly, in these diagrams also you have angles greater than 180 degrees and that is why these are concave polygons. So these are the two types of polygons that we come across, convex and concave. 
Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.